What's up guys and gals, it's your boy Jeff coming back to you with another episode of CCW Cantonese Comic Wednesdays. If you guys survived episode 1 through 24, welcome to episode 25 guys. Alright guys, before I get started, let me shout out my local OCs, Nerd Out Comics for always looking out for me, for always hooking me up. Tim, Glenn, thank you for always looking out for me. And if you guys are ever in the Tampa Bay area, go check Nerd Out Comics out. Alright guys. And for now on, CCW is going to be sponsored by Nerd Out Comics. So thank you, Glenn, for sponsoring. So first book on my reading pile is Batman The Last Night on Earth. Pretty excited to read this. Last issue was pretty good. So just excited it came out. The Batman Who Laughs, issue 7. Pretty excited to see how Snyder's going to end this. Live on the Light. Pretty excited to read this. Pretty, I'm pretty interested in horror, horror type stuff. So I'm pretty uh, excited to see what this is about. Looks like a Michael Myers character. So pretty excited to see where it's going. Where where they're going to take this. The Crow meets Hack and Slash issue 2. Pretty excited to read this. To see where it's going. Last issue, The Crow actually made his appearance at the end. And I think they're going to be introducing a new character or probably an old character. But pretty excited to see where this is going. Venom issue 1. Well, it's not issue 1. Venom annual number 1. Pretty excited. Uh, just interested to see. It's not Donnie writing annual. So it's somebody else writing the annual. So pretty excited to see where they're going to take this. Red Sonja. Lord of Fools. I'm just a big Red Sonja fan. I'm just a big Redhead fan. <laughs> so I'm pretty much getting picking up Red Sonja. Lord of Fly, Lord of Fools. Pretty excited to see just read it. And the last but not least, Tale of Witch of the Black Rose, issue 117. Pretty excited to read this. I'm a big Jim Valiant fan. And then I picked up some variants. Thanos Carnage variant issue four. Batman Who Laughs limited trade dress variant. Just really enjoy this cover. I really like this cover. And then the stuff I enjoyed reading last week. Colin Bunn's Bone Parish issue eleven. So it's one more issue to end it. So I'm pretty excited to see how he's gonna end this. It was a pretty decent read. Guardians of the Galaxy by Donny Cates. A big surprise at the end of the book. I'm not going to tell you guys. But it's something to do with Rocket. It's pretty good, decent. Redneck issue 22 was a really good read. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy Donny Cates' writing. Some people are just starting not to enjoy his stuff. He is, some people think he's spread too thin. I don't think so. Batman White Knight. Curse of the White Knight. Pretty good read. Pretty excited to see where it's going. They actually introduced Azrael in this universe, so pretty excited to see who the Azrael character is in this. In this. All right, guys, you guys are here for the Cantonese word. The Cantonese word is going to be money. How to say money in Cantonese? And then money is chin, and then the sentence is mo yu chin. Oh, I need money. Or you chin. So I need money. Or you chin is is the sentence, and the word is money, chin. And then for Charlie and Kate, it's one dollar. It's how to say a dollar, yat man. And then for Charlie and Kate, the sentence is Dad, I need a dollar. Ba ba or you yat man. And for everybody else, it was. For everybody else, it was money. So chin, and then for the sentence was, "Or you chin," is I need money. And for Charlie and Kate, it was a dollar. So dad, I need a dollar. So baba, you yet man. All right, guys, you know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy Jeff, A.K.A. Cantonese Comic King, A.K.A. CCW Master. You guys know who it is. Signing out.